Hi, this is Dave again. Uh, today we're going to show you how to run a virtual machine in Lenovo's new Yoga 900 convertible laptop. Uh, before we start, you can see there's a few changes made from its predecessor, the Yoga 3 Pro. Yoga 3 Pro had five row had a five row keyboard. One of the obvious improvements on the Yoga 900 is it now has a dedicated F key row. It now has a six row keyboard. Uh, also, if you'll notice, the screen on the Yoga 3 Pro had a thin plastic strip at the bottom. They've put a full sheet of glass on the Yoga 900 looks a lot more professional. Anyway, in order to run a virtual machine on this, you have to enable virtualization in the BIOS. There's also an, op an option in the BIOS to disable the F key row, if you so desire. I'll show you how to get there. The easy way to get into the BIOS is to press the Recovery Novo button on the right side of the machine with something sharp. This little button right here, you just push it. And that starts the machine and puts you right into the menu for system recovery, the boot menus there, the BIOS setup is what we want. So arrow to that, press enter, takes you right into the BIOS, go to the right to configuration, scroll down, to Intel Virtual Technology and enable it. I've already enabled mine. Uh, the hotkey mode is just below that. You can enable or disable that. It's comes, it comes uh, by default enabled. Uh, once you choose what you want, hit FN or F10. And that saves the changes. Enter. And that will boot right into Windows. Now I've chosen to run Android Lollipop as a virtual machine on this. Uh, it's a real easy way to get it. It's a company called DuoS and it is a very easy way to install Android Lollipop on the Yoga 900. Now I've already installed it. Uh, if you just go to the website, it gives you a, uh, a preview option for Lollipop that you can install. And if you so desire, you can buy it for, uh, it's pretty cheap. Uh, anyway, I already put it on here. And it, it loads right as, on the desktop. as a There's an icon on the desktop. If you want to load it, you just choose do OS icon and it will take you right to lollipop on the virtual machine Android runs pretty good and if you have a smartphone with Android lollipop on it and you did a recent backup you can choose to install the backup onto uh, the lollipop that you just installed on your laptop and uh, everything on your phone will come across onto your laptop your pictures all your programs all your settings your email There's a little lock key down here at the bottom you just slide it up and that unlocks the screen all the apps come across this runs really fast on this uh, there's a slider in the settings where you can give it more RAM to run faster, less RAM if you're worried about losing any uh, functions or in, in Windows. But I just leave it at its default and it runs very smooth, very fast. All the apps come across, all your programs, your pictures can come across. It syncs everything from your Android phone. Uh, runs really good really quick if you want to get back to Windows all you do is come up here and minimize it and it goes right back to the desktop 
do OS is in the taskbar. You can go back and forth as many times as you want. It's just an, it's an instant way to get Lollipop on the Yoga 900. Runs really good. Um, that's how you put a virtual machine on the Yoga 900. Thanks for watching.